Anybody tell you to go worship some man, man, tell him to drop dead. That's right. Anybody tell you to go worship some man, man, tell him to drop dead. That's right. All right, this is from the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Start out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. Under command, Jenny Hanna. Under command, Jenny Hanna. Anybody tell you to go worship some man, man, tell him to drop dead. That's right. Under command, Jenny Hanna. So we're going to talk about uh, fake Israelite groups. Okay. So you'll, you'll, there'll be a lot of fake Israelite groups. And they will, and these are, they're all based Christians. Okay. That's why when I hear people, you know, reference like some other people who street, teach on the streets. I mean, at the end of the day, they're all Christians. They just believe, they just know they're Israelite. I don't mean they have the truth. I don't mean they have the true knowledge. Okay, I don't mean the Lord is what is with them. Okay, I'm gonna get some scriptures. <clears throat> oh, come on here. Hey, you got the temperature? Yeah. You got the same temperature? Yeah, I want you to. In the truth. The Israelite school UPK, we prayed for the plagues to come. Look what happened. One of the greatest plagues in the hundred years. The Israelite school UPK, we prayed for the plagues to come. The Israelite school UPK, we prayed for the plagues to come. That temperature is good. Yeah. Got the same temperature. Yeah. The Lord is shaking up this kingdom for the better for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who who set themselves near the Most High. But the problem is, you got these fake Israelites ain't using that knowledge. You got to get it from. You got to get that oil poured on you from that man who who has the truth. Anybody tell you to go worship some man, man, tell him to drop dead. That's right. That's why even these fake Israelite groups, they even in danger. Because they're not near the most high. Can a brother keep all the all the statutes and commandments of the Lord but and not be in the ISUBK? Well, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's some of, what's some of the law of statutes and commandments that you gotta keep that you can only keep if you're in the ISUBK? Every soul that doesn't attend the Passover to be cut off from among the people. It's a sin to not attend the Passover. Right, 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 right. Definitely. You see what I'm saying? Unless, unless there's some reason, which there's a couple reasons in the law where you can miss the Passover. But it's a sin to not so to not be at the Lord's Passover. Right, there's right. only one Passover, so you would have to basically be in the be in with the UPK to serve to keep the law, and the commandments. So you would have to basically be in the be in with the UPK to serve to keep. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a Sasia, Shalom to you, uh, other elders, Akim, you few sisters, and let me say Shalom to the elect. I want to go in this video here. Um, brought on by the ISUPK um, with the bold and arrogant statements, proudful statements as they usually do. Um, I really didn't want to do video like this. I, it, these videos just pop up so I guess the spirit says to look at them so I look at them and these guys the crazy madness that they're claiming you know they always say that um, as I put in the first clip, uh, you know, not to follow men, not trust in men. Now, that, that men is talking about fleshly, you know, not spiritual men, right? But then these guys, when they open up, this guy, he never even mentioned, it gave all praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. And I thought that was something because these guys tend to worship men over the most high now they'll say we do that at GMS or whatever there's, there's guys who said that 
but you have to have your own mind to a degree spiritually and uh, pray to the Lord to give you proper understanding and guidance right we always say we know the apostles of great millstone is not going to save you right but through the teachings and through the doctrines is the followance to salvation right this is how you learn but these guys are so bold to say that if you don't come into the ISBK's Passover you won't be delivered if you don't follow the ISBK's commandments you won't be delivered I've never heard of that and I, I know that's not in the scriptures but <laughs> for, for whatever reason this is what they pull out this they're boldly saying this right now we do know that there's one body one flesh you know I mean one body one spirit one calling one hope is Ephesians 4 and 4 but we would even say that there might be some elect in different camps that might wake up from this madness this is why we fight and do the videos that we do this this is something that is um is an, another stain uh, on the IHBK and of course I'll get a couple scriptures and I'll go into that but he never mentioned the Most High and His Son um, you know when you when you read the scriptures it says um, all things decently in order gives the order the Most High uh, um, and the Son right <clears throat> it says also that everything be done under the Lord's will now this proves that I should be K they're not doing anything everything under the Lord's will I'm not saying that they're not teaching right far as telling brothers and some sisters and followers that they're Israelites but um, we won't be so far as to make videos called saying fake Israelite camps instead of being boldly saying it you know they call themselves no cowards but we will come out and say yes it's you I should be K you're going off Right, and then they, you know, this is something else I saw in the video. This guy, he, he looks pretty down and out. Let me say that he doesn't look well. And then they got the thermometer pointing at him to get his temperature as if he didn't feel well. But then they say they prayed for this thing to happen. But then the general tells everybody to accept everything that's going with this thing so this is crazy this is beyond me I, I don't you know this got to be the spirit of uh, of Satan on them you know but uh that's what they said they say they prayed for the plagues and then come to your antidote right <laughs> uh, anyway uh, I just want to do a short video on this Colossians 2 and 16 let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of any holy day <clears throat> respect of an holy day or of the new moon or the Sabbath days this is not meaning don't keep them and don't try to keep them to the best of your ability but then you would have guys like this and say you need to come to us and if you're not doing it right you're not doing this if you're doing it to the best of your ability it's all about the, your, your spirit to the Lord. The Lord knows your spirit. But these guys are saying you must come to the, the, the ISBK to follow the Sabbath day. But this scripture says, let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day or of in the new moon or the Sabbath days. We can't tell anybody who's following, this is a holy uh, uh, convocation, uh, um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, basically, um, yeah, this this is uh, uh, um, this is not some big ceremony, um, you know, talking about the uh, the Passover, yeah, these big halls and big banquets. But if that's what they do, that's what they do. But then you got families that are out there that will follow. Our job is just to tell you and teach you. We're not going to say if you don't follow GMS. Passover you won't be delivered I, I never heard anything like that we will say if you're in the truth and you've been doing it long enough you, you need to follow the Lord's holy days we don't keep a census on who follows our Passovers and uh, whatever I mean you do it 
You, you got families that do it. You got people. There's going to come a time, okay, just as the Passover, the, the whole ordeal about the Passover, where you have to keep it privately. Right? You had families had to keep it privately. You know? So I, I don't understand that. But that's that's these guys. That's these guys in a nutshell. Um, uh, let me get to um, Acts 5 and 29. It says, Then Peter said to the other apostles and answered, uh, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. Right? This is why Paul was going around and they had issues with the um, eating of certain foods. You know, when you read the stories, with eating certain foods, you would have men come up and say, it was sacrificed unto devils. Don't eat it. And Paul said, well, if it's offensive, I won't eat it. But other than that, just eat it. Don't worry about that. Because the sacrifice, the Yahweh Shah was the ultimate sacrifice. You ain't got to do that. These are those overthinking, overrighteous Israelites that are saying, if you don't follow us, it's not of the truth. You know, you had to know that these guys did this before. Right? They were they're just back doing it, uh, doing the same thing over again. Okay. This is uh, uh Isaiah 40, 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. All right, I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee and the right hand of my righteousness. Right? Yahan is not going to do that. Right? Yahan is not going to strengthen you. Yahan is not going to raise you. In fact, this thing Yahan is telling everybody to do, definitely not strengthening you. Right? He's not going to raise you. This, this is crazy. This is purely occultic, man. This is purely occultic. I, I'm not going to teach, and I'm not going to say that um, that a, a great millstone, the apostles of great millstone, is going to save you. Is going to um, if you don't come to their Passover, right? You don't fly to New York and <laughs> come to. The, Hey, what happened to the Passovers, the IHBK? A couple of them they didn't even keep. Right? So, I don't know where that comes from. So, this is crazy. Revelation. Um, uh, Revelation uh, 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to, to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters, whosoever loveth and maketh a lie, right? And this is what we see, man. Idolaters, man. You know? Uh, it says a worshiper of false gods. Yohanna has now become a god of the Israelite community. Okay? What happened is they, Yohanna have managed to show them the truth which is good and they woke up for the truth to the truth and they don't realize that the most high woke them up to the truth because the most high gives the increase anyway but they're giving all the credit and the glory to Yohanna right and that's not in the scriptures you can reference him you can say oh that's my teacher I even worship him to a degree which worship just simply means to uh, reference him as a leader and a teacher. You can say that. That's fine. But when you say it's, if it's not of Yahana, it's not of the truth. Right? Meaning, when you open up, you have to reference the Heavenly Father first in everything you do. We don't teach that. I don't teach it. None of the brothers teach it. The apostles don't teach it. They even open up and give praises to the Heavenly Father. They even say that. We do know there's orders and there's a, a guideline to the order, order, ordership, so to speak. Right? And it goes on to say, a covetous man as a worshiper of mammon, riches. Right? Who's that sound like? Sounds like somebody familiar to me. Anyway, uh, I just found that interesting that he said that if, it's, if you don't come to 
the IHBK and have the Passover and follow the commandments through the IHBK, you won't be saved. Now what we say is by by everything is faith, you know, and faith is what will guide you to follow the commandments to the best of your ability, right? But that faith when the hour of temptation, which they're not teaching, and this thing that's get ready to pop off, they're not teaching that. Because none of our apostles and teachers are saying, look, at the end of the day, you just make your decision, which ultimately you're going to pray to the Lord, but they can't come into your home and say, hey, this is GMS, do this or do this or do that or don't do this. Ultimately, it's going to be on you through the Spirit. They're just guidance and leaders. They can't tell you to take this or not take this. And clearly, if Yohanna was a man of God, a man of the Lord, he would have not had told them to do all those things he told them to do, yet they prayed for the plagues. But yet he tells them to accept what they give them. That can't be a man of God, man. That can't be the man, let me say, of the Most High, man. That's all I have on that, Shalom.